This is Unleashing Leadership, and I'm your host, Travis Moss, and welcome to episode 23. This is called Don't Nibble, and this is a quote day. So this is something that I've shared with my team, and it's free for you to use with yours. And today's quote is, if you are going to eat shit, don't nibble. You know, we were just talking about getting out of the corner offices, and we were talking about how you got to give up the corner office, and you got to get involved with your team, and this is what will happen with most people. You'll get out of the corner office a little bit. You'll nibble at it. You'll get out there in the pit with the with the rest of the team a couple hours at a time, maybe an hour. Then you run back to the office. Then you come back out for another hour in the afternoon, run back to the office. So you get out, you do a lap, and you say hi to everybody, and then you get back in the office. Now, you, what you need to do is you need to evict yourself. You need to literally come in with boxes, pack your shit up, put it in your car, get yourself down so you can work out of off of a desk with no drawers, and put yourself in the middle of your team. You don't nibble at this. You're either all in or not in. If you don't go all in, it's uh, it's not real, right? It's not authentic. It's it's not going to have the impact that you're looking for. You're either all in or you're not in. You want to do better. You want to do things. You want to challenge things. You want to be the best. You want to be important. You want to move the ball forward. You have to transform yourself into a living force. You need to unlock that power inside of you that people go, oh my gosh, they're here. And when they show up, they show up. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they show up and show out, I think as the term is called. That means you have to be 100% committed to any idea, passion, or opportunity you're participating with. You can't be nibbling around the outside. You can't be half in. You can't be half in. Would you want your team half-assing it? Halfway believing in an idea, halfway working at something. You want to set an example, you got to live the example you want to set. You want to change the world, be better. You got to live what you want to be better. If you complain about things being hard, because this will happen a lot. Oh, it's just hard. I'm, I'm distracted or, or, you know, I need my space or whatever it is. If you complain about things being hard, if you complain about them being sucky, right? Because we all have stuff that happens that's sucky. If you complain about things being not fair, you're never going to be even a shadow of real success. The difference between you and somebody like Elon Musk or Warren Buffett has nothing to do with potential or education or being born into opportunity. There's plenty of people who are born into opportunity and they end up with a sucky life. There's plenty of people that have incredible education and they never achieve nothing. There's plenty of people who have potential that goes unfilled. I mean, that's most people's lives. We're here listening because we want something more. The difference between Elon Musk and Warren Buffett and everybody else, they aren't nibblers. They don't even bother putting on a bib. They see a steaming pile of shit. They just die right in head first and start eating. And they eat and they eat and they do and they do more. And they don't complain about the taste. They don't complain about the smell. They don't wonder, why do I have to be the one who always eats the shit? Why is bad things always happening to me? They don't complain about the smell. They don't complain about nothing. They just say, thank you very much, and please bring seconds until that pot runs dry. Give me some more. I'll deal with it. They are a force in their own right. They outwork. They out-effort. They eat more shit than everybody else. They commit harder than everybody. I mean, like, everything is, when you see them coming, it's like a tidal wave. That's why they have more. That's why they're actually at the top of the shit pile. (laughs) So maybe you're not them. Maybe you're just trying to figure out how to get moving. Start with whatever's in front of you. What's blocking you? What's blocking your team? What's in the way? Eat the whole damn thing in one giant gulp then. Be like them. If you can't imagine yourself doing this, pretend you're Elon Musk or Warren Buffett. And what would they do? They'd eat this steaming pile of shit in one gulp. They'd get it down and digest it and move on. And yeah, they might get sick. There's going to be turmoil, right? There's always turmoil when you change stuff. There's always turmoil when you deal with hard things. It's never as bad as you think, though. It doesn't kill you. But it'll be once if you eat it all at one time. You'll deal with it all the all the side effects, boom, right there, boom. Just deal with it right now. Then it's all behind you. If you nibble at stuff, though, if you're not committed, you just keep poking and nibbling, what do you do? 
Let's say you nibble for a year at an, at an issue. You get sick every single time you nibble. Because it stinks. It's rotten. It's putrid. Why would you want to nibble on that over and over and over again? No. Deal with the problem. Get it out of the way. Buffing a must don't like eating shit. Nobody does. Unless they're psychopaths. Then, then maybe you like it. But come on. If you were driving down the road and there was something dead in the middle of the road, you'd get out. Well, they would get out and they'd move it. They'd get it off the road so they don't have to run over it. Because if you run over it, the smell just follows you, right? It just The stench stays with you for days and days and days. You hit a dead skunk or something like that. It just goes with you. You get out and you move. You get rid of it. You, get, you, 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 get it, you don't get out and move part of it. You get out and move the whole damn thing. Get it out of the way. Just look at any Roblox you have as like a steaming pile of shit and your job is to consume it. All in one gulp. We all have the power to do this. We can all dive headfirst into the hard, sucky, not fair stuff. Instead of complaining about it, we get to say, that's my job, that's what I get to do. I get to get that out of the way. That's where greatness comes from. Stop nibbling on the edges, dive in, and start getting stuff done.